And with that, we bring in Mark Namit to break down how the ruling impacts Ohio. And we know Governor DeWine, he was already starting to make changes before the ruling came down. Well, and, and the lawmakers in Ohio, which have been led by Republicans, have been uh, battling the abortion issue for, for a while. So abortion is still legal in Ohio. And up until a few hours ago, clinics could perform procedures up to 20 weeks of pregnancy. But that changed after a federal court following the decision by the high court today lifted a block on a six-week abortion bill dubbed the heartbeat bill. Now let's go back to 2019. Ohio Governor Mike DeWine signed a law known as the heartbeat bill that would ban the procedure once a fetal heartbeat can be detected. Most experts see that as about six weeks. It was quickly challenged and blocked by a federal court, but minutes after the high court's decision today, Ohio Attorney General Dave Yost filed a motion in federal court to lift that block on the law. He argued that the, Ohio, or the U.S. Supreme Court decision removes any reason to block the heartbeat bill. The federal court obviously agreed. And so what is uh, Governor DeWine saying today? I'm sure he had a lot to say. Well, he spoke this afternoon and restated his long opposition to abortion. And he called on people on both sides of the debate to be civil and to demonstrate peacefully. Here's a little of what he said. I fully understand that the Supreme Court's decision today is deeply troubling to many of you. Those of you who are pro-choice believe this is a matter of freedom and this is a decision only the woman can make. Those who are pro-life, including my wife, Fran, and me, believe that the life of a human being is at stake. It's going to be very easy to let this debate get rough and tough, and there's certainly nothing wrong with spirited debate. However, we must do it in a way that recognizes that smart, sincere, dedicated, and caring people can have very, very different and equally heartfelt views. Okay, so one thing I noticed today, and I think you, we talked about this, the governor of Michigan is already saying that women are crossing Ohio to go to Michigan uh, to get abortion. So do you see more strict abortion rights here, or I, I don't even know how to say it? Yes, there's a discussion among Ohio GOP lawmakers right now on how uh, to proceed. They can go to uh, a bill right now uh, that's kicking its way that would ultimately go to, to eliminate abortion at fertilization. Uh, they're all in recess right now, so they may come back before September. If they want to push this, that's what they're debating now. But we will see stricter abortion laws than even the heartbeat bill come forward, at least through the legislature. All right, still so much to talk about. Mark Namick, thank you. Betsy?